Hi, I'm Mick McCauley and you're watching the Celtic Music Journal. Hello again everyone, welcome back to an exciting edition of the Celtic Music Journal, the show that brings you music journals from bands and artists from all over the world. I'm your host, Steve Behrens. Let's kick things off with an exciting six-piece Celtic folk rock band from Columbia, South Carolina. This band mixes Celtic mythology, history, and folklore into an exciting stage show. They're currently in support of their album called The Winter King, and in increasing demand at fairs and festivals all over their area. If you like your music with a bit of thump and drive, then Sire may just be the band for you. Hi, we're Sire. <laughs> Hi, we're Sire. I play drums. I'm Emily, I play fiddle. I'm Kelly, I play bass. I'm Kyle, I sing and play guitar. I'm Laura, I do backup vocals and djembe. I'm Ben, I play guitar. Lay me down upon the hill Stay with me till I grow still Let me feel the winter winds Till I go to meet my kids Be sure to check out our new album, The Winter King. Uh, we just released it uh, late last year. It's out now on Spotify and iTunes and all that good stuff. And it's our second studio album. One, two, one, two. One day we'd hope to uh, kind of open it up to a bigger uh, show, like a whole, you know, like wider audience, wider sections, you know, more instruments and stuff like that, incorporating more of the folk stuff, but also bringing Celtic music to the mainstream audiences that might not understand or know what Celtic music is. And uh, we kind of, I, I guess the, one of our real goals is to make Celtic music its own genre, so it's not underneath world music, you know, have someone that... Uh, we say Celtic, they're like, okay, yeah, I get it. I understand it.
check us out on Facebook and uh, Instagram at uh, sire underscore music and facebook.com slash sire music. We also have a YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com slash sire music. <laughs>
Glad to have another shot at that one. <laughs> much of that. History meets English hospitality, The Horse Brass, a traditional English-style pub proudly serving proper 20-ounce imperial pints and award-winning English and American food like our famous halibut fish and chips and more since 1976. We've grown to 59 beers on tap and offer a full bar. Good beer, good food, and good company. You're a stranger no more when you walk through the door of the old Horse Brass pub. Our next journal is a man from Kilkenny who is a multi-instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, producer, and performer. From his work with Solas to his collaborations with some of the biggest names in Celtic and folk music, Mick McCauley continues to push boundaries of Irish music to a wider and more diverse audience. Currently in support of his album Highs and Bellows, which is reaching critical acclaim, he's working on a new album right now as we speak, and we caught up with Mick at a recent house concert in Portland, Oregon. Hi, I'm Mick McCauley. Uh, I'm out here on the West Coast. I'm doing a handful of house concerts uh, all the way from uh, Seattle last night all the way down to uh, mostly in California and uh, for about nine or ten days. Um, well I was I guess I feel I was fortunate enough to grow up in a very musical family and all my brothers and sisters all played music and I'm second youngest in the family so I was sort of listening to music. They were all playing before by the time I was born, so I was listening to music in the house in that way, and it just seemed a very natural progression to play music. And uh, I mean, they, they tell me, I don't really remember, but they were saying, they tell me that I was chomping at the bit, so to speak, to get out to the music lessons and get out and learn my tin whistle and whatnot, and eventually they allowed me to do that. Uh, so I, I sort of, like, it was just part of life my 
first incident was the tin whistle and therefore I suppose I mean it's no longer the most natural thing to, to play because I don't play uh, I, I didn't play a lot of uh, whistles and flutes for years but I'm back playing a bit more now but the low whistle the whistles I, I do like to pick them up uh, from time to time and uh, I play a few tunes in every show that I do on, on the tin whistle The accordion, I suppose, would be the thing that I've clocked up the most miles on. Uh, I've put in, uh, you know, just in the session thing, really, and doing shows. And uh, the accordion is what I'd be most well known for and probably what I've spent most time doing. <laughs> Last while, the last several years, uh, I tend, I think, I'm spending more time playing guitar and writing. And while uh, you know, I certainly don't consider myself virtuosic on the guitar by any means, but it has served, uh, and I've tried to bring it to a standard where it can serve as a vehicle for the songs that I that I am writing and some of the traditional songs that I, I do. And so that's really the purpose of the guitar for me. Mm -hmm. I suppose all in all I'm enjoying singing more than anything these days and uh, that really is what I, I'm uh, that's what I'm trying to develop the most and uh, I'm trying to write a lot of songs at the moment, original songs, sort of based in the Irish tradition, but outside of that as well. So I'm hoping that that's what the next album is, is uh, mostly songs. I wander these valleys with the one I love best, but those dreams of youth have vanished. And now I am far away So farewell unto you Bonnie, Bonnie Sleek and brave uh, It's a broad range Everything from uh, a couple of songs from an old album the, the first solo album that I did, I don't even know what year, and if I did, I wouldn't say. Uh, but it was on Shanaki Records, it's called uh, An Ocean's Breath. There's a couple of songs off of that that I do. Um, a couple of traditional songs uh, off the most recent album that's called Highs and Bellows that I've done uh, with Colin McQueeve, great guitar player from my hometown in Kilkenny. Um, I do a couple of songs from that. Um, I may, if I feel like it, if, if, you know, sometimes people ask for a couple of songs out of the Shamrock City thing, I, sometimes I do those. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's just sort of just 10, 12 songs that I'll, I'll draw from at the moment. Um, I've got a call to go and uh, go down and uh, meet uh, Sting and Rob Mathis, who was the musical arranger for The Last Ship. And this The Last Ship was a, a Broadway... Well, at this time, it was, it was a musical show on its way to Broadway, they were hoping, and it was going to debut uh, in Chicago, Broadway in Chicago. And this was a project that uh, Sting and Rob Mathis had been working on for, I think it was close to four or five years. And it was a story, uh, sort of loosely autobiographical by Sting about his the place where he comes from, Wall's End outside Newcastle in England and in the UK and um, it, it, it's a ship building community and so he had set uh, the story in the shipyards of Wall's End and uh, it was sort of a, a Melodian heavy score and so uh, 
they needed someone to, to play it. And so I was more than happy to do that. It was a great experience. Uh, it, it was sort of in the orchestra pit and there was, like Rob Mattis had done some amazing uh, orchestral scores uh, and arrangements. And uh, yeah, it, it was great. The whole thing just sort of gelled together and it was a very enjoyable experience. And I, th I think I learned a lot. And uh, it, it was great. Like it, the, the spirit of the whole thing was very strong and it was a great camaraderie and all the way from Sting himself to everybody involved there was uh, a great passion for this project and uh, sadly it didn't maybe run as as long as everybody would have liked but uh, I think it's coming back up and uh, it's hitting the stage in England in two, sometime in 2018. I listen to anything uh, I know that's a, a, a cop out but I don't, I don't actually listen to that much Irish music these days. I, I was a Dylan fan, uh, Neil Young, like uh, Mark Knopfler. Uh, I was a big fan of of that. I was a big Queen fan, massive Queen fan. Uh, I I remember the first Now record. Now that's what I call music is a huge thing over in Europe. You know, it's like a compilation of the hits of that year. And I remember listening to Now One. You know, so uh, and, uh, I don't know what they're on now. It was all, you know, just basically um, all that stuff at the time of, you know, uh, Aha, Nick Kershaw, Alison Moyer, all that stuff. Uh, I used to listen to all that and uh, I'll still stick on a Dire Straits record and it'll be as good as ever I heard it, you know. Well, I'm in the middle of writing an album. I hope to get that finished. I'm not rushing it. Uh, but um, I, I have more time now over the next, uh, over this winter. I'm hoping to be in a position to record that in the spring. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I haven't really decided the path for it. I just want to get it written. And then I think I'm not concerning myself even at the moment in the writing of it as to how it'll even sound or, or what, what musical setting it, it will have. Uh, I'm just trying to, to write it and keep going uh, with it and it's I'm really enjoying that. It's the first time I've sort of approached a project like that with no no pressure on it, but uh, uh, no pressure other than from myself. And so uh, I'm looking forward, I'm really enjoying that and I've realised that I really would like to do a lot more of that. I'm, I'm involved in a couple of projects that are theatre based as well with music and that's been fun and I guess uh, when with Solus, when we had done the Shamrock City album, that was sort of headed into a theatrical world, and uh, sadly it didn't, it didn't, you know, come to fruition. But I went from that into the last ship, and then it sort of has um, whet my appetite for these, this theatre setting, not musical theatre in the conventional, you know, as what we all sing and all dancing, but uh, theatre that has a musical aspect to it. Oh, thanks for listening to my music and uh, and hopefully uh, hopefully there'll be a new album soon and uh, hopefully I'll see you at a gig uh, either on this run on the West Coast or somewhere uh, in 2018. I'm hoping that I'll probably be back out on the road uh, more than I have been the last couple of years. Um, so I'm looking just, uh, I took a couple of years off, I suppose, uh, or I at least definitely scaled down my tour over the last two years, but uh, I'm sort of, uh, I got an itchy feet again, so I'm going to be back out again a, a bit more in 2018 and 19. <laughs> American Celtic promotes Celtic culture with a huge list of free online services. You may have used our extensive American Celtic website, read our weekly American Celtic newsletter, watched a Celtic music video on the American Celtic YouTube channel, taken advantage of our online calendar of Celtic events here in Northern California, 
or gotten help getting in touch with your Celtic heritage. AmeriCeltic is user-supported, but if you've made a donation of support, we need your support to keep all these services going. All donations are welcome, however small, and all donors are recognized on our website sponsors page. Over 100 donors have, averaging $33 a year. So if you can donate $30 or more, we have Celtic Premium for you. How about a sampler album featuring our best regional Celtic performers, or the AmeriCeltic Patch? If you can donate $50, claim a full album, and at $100, you'll get all five albums and the patch. Check them out at americeltic.net slash premiums. And join our list of Celtic heroes by making your donation today. For information on how to submit your Celtic music journal, go to 67music.net. The Finns are brothers Kieran and Hugh, hailing from Rathdowdy, County Leash. They've been touring as the Finns for years worldwide, as well as being members of the popular group Nathina. But with their new arsenal of guitar, banjo, tenor guitar, and harmonica, the new music they're creating is getting the attention of people all over the world and being hailed as a duo to watch. Let's check out the Finns. My favorite singers would be Dick Gohan and Stan Rogers. I'd be quite inspired by Paul Brady and Andy Irvine, definitely growing up. Other bands outside of folk, I like uh, House of Pain, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Incubus and Tenacious D. My favorite song to sing is probably Home Away From Home by Sean Keane. I have to probably say My Heart Tonight in Ireland by Andy Irvine. Um, Good choice. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> My name is Hugh, uh, I play banjos mostly. I also play tenor guitar, it's a lovely gold tone that I play. My banjo is made by Dave Boyle, a lovely luthier from Ireland, Selbridge. And I play bazookies by Dave Shapiro. I'm Kieran. I play uh, guitar mostly. I have a beautiful um, S. Loudon guitar um, made in the north of Ireland with George Loudon. I also play uh, baritone ukulele when I can, a pono um, baritone ukulele. We play original folk music from Ireland, sometimes described as indie folk music or a uh, kind of rootsy feel I suppose. Yeah, so, sure, yeah. yeah, nice and folky anyway. I suppose the, the, the song that I'm most proud of is a song I wrote a long, long time ago, um, a song called Free Mind. Um, it'll be on uh, our album as well uh, out very, very soon. The song I'm most proud of is probably My Hometown, which is our second ever single. My Hometown is about our hometown here in Rathdowney. We're actually here at the moment and um, this is where we grew up. This is the place that we love. So we wrote a song about it called My Hometown. Running down the old wood lane Two rooms of barns to shelter rain Swinging on that seat you made And the sky is clear, it's a different shade Bring me back to my hometown By the quiet fields, near the ash trees Bring me back to my hometown to a slumber, it's burning ember. Bring me back to my hometown by the quiet fields near the ash trees. Bring me back to my hometown to a slumber, it's burning ember. 
So we released My Hometown on cassette tape because we grew up with cassette tapes. Uh, we could never connect really with vinyl because we never grew up with that. But um, <coughs> cassette tapes we did and we loved them. They're just very nostalgic and really, really cool, really, really re retro. Our first single was a song called Lambe. It did wonders for us. It catapulted us onto the Irish music scene. We wrote a song about Lambe because we were inspired by a story about there being wild wallabies out on the island. And from there, we looked a bit further into the, the stories uh, be, behind the island, and it was full of unique oddities and, uh, and everything, so the song was born. My favorite song on the new album is probably Folk Man. Favorite song would have to be Lambie. All around Lambie. <laughs> <laughs> My dream is to play in Tiny Desk Concert. My favourite place, or the place that I'd like to play most, uh, if I could, I'd love to go back in time and play in uh, Krushki Lone in Cork. I used to play there as a metal band, but I'd love to go back and play as the Finns. The festival I'd probably like to play at most uh, would be, since it was a uh, start liking music, it's probably Newport Folk Festival. Probably for me, I'd say. Yeah, I think I'd like um, any festival that's related to sea shanties or the ocean or like that. I think they're great ones to play. I'd love to play anything like that. Maybe over in Newfoundland. Be brilliant. We usually play our music uh, in Temple Bar weekly, in and out in all the pubs around there, pubs and venues, and uh, we love it. We play our own songs in Temple Bar, but we also play other songs, loads of covers. Yeah. Our new album is going to have 10 to 12 songs on it. It's going to be all originals bar one, and that is going to be an old uh, Peruvian folk song, which is the one we're going to be covering. We're really excited about the album. It's, it's going to have uh, flares of banjo in it, harmonicas, bazookis, ukuleles, fiddle. percussion, yeah. fiddle. We're pretty proud of it so far, so yeah, we hope, uh, we hope people will like it. You can find us online on our website, first of all, www.thefinsmusic.com. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Fins Music. And you can also find us there on YouTube. We have lots of stuff up there, lots of videos. You can also find us on Spotify and you can download uh, our music as well on iTunes. Just search uh, The Fins Music, you'll find us. Thank you. Welcome to Fecken Irish Brewing Company, where we brew award-winning traditional Irish beers with Northwest influences. You'll also find mouth-watering barbecue food and more smoked daily right on site. We also have axe throwing, live entertainment, music Friday and Saturday, and a great selection of beers, meads, and ciders. Great Fecken Brewers, great Fecken Beer. Come visit us in historic Oregon City. That's it for this exciting edition of the Celtic Music Journal. I hope you all enjoyed the artists I presented for you today. If you did, join me in supporting them. Go to their websites, sign up for their email lists, buy their music, and attend their shows. Let them know you saw them on the Celtic Music Journal. And by the way, you can watch all editions of the Celtic Music Journal anytime on my website at 67music.net or my YouTube channel. Like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. For the Celtic Music Journal, I'm Steve. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.